In question 9, we have five options A through E, and we have to complete the following phrase. So the phrase is, during the process of evolution, natural selection will favour individuals with blank. OK, let's see what could fill in the blanks. We'll start with A. Does natural selection favour individuals with an advantageous gene pool? Well, the gene pool refers to the entire population's composition when it comes to genes. So it's not referring to any individual, so we can't talk about natural selection favouring individuals with an advantageous gene pool. So we can say this is wrong. Moving on to B, does natural selection favour individuals with an advantageous allele? Well, this is correct. We should know that alleles are just gene variants. So there are more than one variant of a particular gene within the population due to genetic variation that's present in the population. And if these alleles, which cause variation in phenotypes, are advantageous in a particular environment, then it's more likely that they will be propagated in the next generation as they may make the individual more likely to survive to reproductive age. So we can say this is correct. So we have our answer, which is B. Let's go through the rest of them, though. So in the case of C, does natural selection favour individuals with a high reproductive capacity? Well, we know this to be wrong because it's not the case that, for instance, human beings who can produce the largest clutch size or, or rather the number of infants simultaneously or as a whole are the most likely to survive. That's not the case. There's actually a stabilising selection which selects for the number of offspring which most increases their likelihood of survival. So in the case of, for instance, a particular bird species, it may be the optimum reproductive capacity to only have five offspring at a time because that's the maximum number that the mother can reliably produce food for. So we can say this is wrong. Moving on to D, a wide geographic distribution. And we can also talk about E, which is a narrow geographic distribution. Well, geographic distribution in itself is not necessarily something that would lead to natural selection favouring those individuals. So if the geographic distribution means is a byword for for instance the ability of the organism to survive in multiple different ecological niches then that would be a benefit perhaps but geographic distribution in itself isn't something that natural selection will favor okay so we can see we have our answer which is option b